There are many obvious differences between routers and spindles for a shot pot, but one that's extremely important to understand is the way that the collet nut, the part that you tighten with the wrench, and the collet itself, the part that holds the cutter shaft, are assembled for a spindle. When you buy a collet for a router, the collet and nut actually come pre-assembled, but for a spindle they are two separate parts. Whenever you replace the collet, it must be inserted into the nut before threading it onto the spindle shaft. If not, you can damage the collet, the nut, and possibly the spindle shaft itself. Here's an exploded view of the process. Start by inserting the collet at an angle into the nut from the open end until you feel the ridge in one side of the nut slip into the groove in the collet. Press firmly sideways on the exposed end of the collet and it will snap into the nut and be flush with the face. Sometimes it requires quite a bit of force to snap it in place, but eventually it goes, so don't give up. Once you have the collet securely snapped into the nut, you're ready to thread the assembly onto your spindle, insert the cutter, and tighten the nut to your spindle manufacturer's recommendations.